as you have no doubt heard by now, another Islamic attack occurred on U.S. soil. This time, it was at Ohio State University, where Islamic militant Abdul Razak Ali Artan, a student of OSU who lived near the campus, began indiscriminately mowing down pedestrians in his car, then went on a brief stabbing spree before finally being taken down by a university police officer. The jihadist was a refugee from Somalia who managed to enter the U.S. in 2014 and obtain permanent resident status despite the stringent safeguards and vetting process we were told by the Obama administration were in place to prevent this sort of thing. As usual, the liberal media spent a couple of days speculating as to what could possibly be the motive for this Islamic militant to snap and suddenly go around wanting to kill people. Also predictable was the knee-jerk reaction of the gun grabbers all over social media. Listen to these tweets. This is where we are. Instead of common sense gun control, we get run, hide, fight. This is even more appropriate considering yesterday's tragic events at Ohio State University. Hoping so very much that everyone is all right at Ohio State University and that thoughtful gun control can be attained in this country. You can hashtag pray for OSU if you want, but if you're not willing to fight for hashtag gun control, why bother? You don't really care about kids being shot. For school shooting victims, it's not too soon to discuss our nation's lax gun laws. It's too late. All they can think to do is push for more illegal infringement on your Second Amendment. Now I need to point out that the only gun involved was the one in the hands of the good guy who used it to end the Islamic attack. Even an alleged reputable news source reported the incident as having an active shooter, when in reality it was over in minutes thanks to the shooter. These liberals just get a crazy idea and run with it even though they don't know the facts. Where have I heard that before? If you gun grabbers want to push your illegal infringement, try Chicago. 70 people were shot in the Windy City over Thanksgiving weekend. Maybe Chicago could use some of your gun control. Oh, wait a minute. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the Ray Warner Show.com.